In last week's video, we left the disciples waiting for the promise that God had made, that he would send them a helper, he would send them power from heaven. So let's find out what happened when that helper came. It was a special Jewish holiday of Pentecost. Jews from all over the world had gathered in the city. They had come to celebrate. They spoke lots of different languages and were from lots of different places. Jesus' friends were there too. They were in a room together, waiting and praying. Suddenly there was a loud sound like wind blowing, and the Holy Spirit appeared. It was like a tongue of fire on each of the disciples' heads. It didn't hurt them or burn them. It was the Holy Spirit, the one who had been promised, who was bringing them power from heaven, who would help them. And suddenly they began to speak in different languages, languages that they'd never even learnt before. All the people that had come to the city to celebrate Pentecost heard what was going on and came to see. They were amazed. They said, how is it that you can speak in all of our languages? So Peter stood up. He said, this was written about in the Bible long ago. The prophets have spoken about it. This is the Holy Spirit that God has promised. And he started to tell them in their own languages all about God's plan how he had sent Jesus into the world to show his love, to save people from all the wrong things that they had done and to bring them back to being friends with God again. With the Holy Spirit's power, Peter wasn't afraid anymore. He was able to tell them this good news and 3,000 people became believers in Jesus that day. When the Holy Spirit came to live in God's people on that day of Pentecost, he appeared as tongues of fire. Fire can remind us of the Holy Spirit because it's full of power and light and warmth. Fire can easily spread. It can be dangerous. The Holy Spirit's fire isn't dangerous, but it does spread. The Holy Spirit fills us up with love for God. He gives us power to go and tell other people the good news. He shows us the truth about God. When we are filled up with the Holy Spirit, as we live and work and play, we share the story of God's good news about Jesus. And other people are filled with the Holy Spirit too. They believe in Jesus. They know his light, love and power as well. And then they might set other people on fire with love for God. Until eventually, the good news of Jesus has spread everywhere in the whole world and everyone has had the chance to be filled up with God's Holy Spirit, to know God to know his love.